All right, let's talk a little bit about maps. Now, previously, Microsoft was using Nokia's here maps because they were kind of so tightly integrated with one another with Windows Phone. Uh, but Nokia obviously went off and did their own thing after Microsoft purchased their phone division. They actually since have sold here maps to a group in Europe. So they no longer own that and Microsoft can't really rely on that relationship or that partnership anymore. Fortunately, Microsoft has done a lot to improve the Bing Maps services that are now being offered in Windows 10 across the entire uh, spectrum of devices that it ships on. So you do have some fairly detailed and accurate maps right here within Bing Maps. You have a couple of interesting features and I do like how the interface works here with a mouse and keyboard and it works just as well with touch. So right here uh, you have rotation controls. So this allows you to just rotate the map and then you have this uh, button here which just always rotates you back to north. And then you can also tilt the map which is really nice. It's got a really nice effect. This right here centers your centers the map on your location and you have different layers or different map views. So you have an aerial view which actually shows you satellite pictures and then you have the road view which is a little bit easier. You also have traffic so you can actually use this for navigation provided you have GPS on your device. Now most Windows laptops are not going to have GPS. Some tablets are shipping with GPS, especially those that have cellular connections, uh, but it's not extremely common. And then you can also turn this on so that you can see where street level views are available. And then right here you have your zoom and unzoom controls right there. So what's really special about these maps here is that you do actually have the option of downloading a specific region exactly like it used to work in here maps. So if you go ahead and open your menu here, you can see some different options. We have uh, directions, again, turn by turn directions are available. Um, if you have GPS, it will navigate you. If you do not, you can view a vertical list of that. You can save favorites so that if you have somewhere that you need to go frequently and can't remember how to get there, that is an option for you. And then some, uh, some maps are available in 3D. So some areas uh, have been scanned so that you can actually see a 3D aerial view. If we go into settings here, this is where things kind of get really special. Now, first of all, you do have the option of changing your units. So if you are in a different region and need to see things in a view that makes more sense for your region, you have that option. And then you have driving transit and walking directions. So that's nice as well. What's really special about this is the ability to download maps and use them offline. So this takes you right into the settings application. Let me just show you how this works. So you can go ahead and say download maps and then you can choose the region. So we'll go ahead and say USA. And then from here we have the option of downloading all of these maps. So for the entire continental US uh, or we can download individual states and these will stay on your hard drive. What's great about that is that even if you're not connected to the internet, you'll still be able to use the, nap the maps excuse me, and navigation. So that can be very helpful, uh, especially if you're a business person that needs to travel a lot and you always have your device with you. Uh, this could be a great way to travel without the need for paper maps uh, or even uh, the need for a data connection.